Uh, welcome to another episode of Uncensored and Untold Stories. Uh, this one's about friends and partner. Um, I promise I won't get well. I suppose it's uncensored, so I have to tell the truth, don't I? Okay. I am gone way through the breaking point now of this bullshit that's going on in my life where you know if you hurt me I have a right to hurt you back let's start with the, the, the friends you know a gift of a friend as Demi Lovato would say you know a real friend would see if their friends are in trouble a real friend would be there for their friend they would you know give them a call every now and again you know whether it's messaging on Facebook or you know messaging on Twitter you know if, if a friend knows that another friend's in trouble they message them and ask how they're doing you know it's a thing where we take for granted that friendship rule where you know we're always there for them but they're never fucking there for us now people that are my friends know what's going on and do you think they're getting off their asses to do anything about it no see I've made a rule up on my uh, Facebook now that most people about 90% of them can get stuffed and go fuck themselves I honestly truly believe that because I'm in a situation where I could go any day now but my friends and my partner don't give a fuck if I'm dead or alive right now and it's wrong because you know if you don't want to be with someone then don't fucking be with them but if my partner can be selfish and horrible and let this drag on well she's to blame for all this and I'm sorry but that is the truth and no one can um, deny that she is the cause of my health gone down the shithole she's the reason why I don't sleep at night she's the reason I don't fucking move on with my life and find someone decent now many of you know that um i've not been looking in this time for a partner in respect to my partner despite what her family may tell her i haven't looked for anybody because at least i've got the decency and the respect to you know wait till the day we break up now people may say well haven't you already broken up already no, because she hasn't got off her ass and, you know, face to face said we've broken up. So if she decides to do anything in this time or has done anything, well then she's cheating on her current partner and she's cheating on me. Now, people say, does she watch your vids? I have no fucking clue. But if she is, she's got to learn that um, she's affecting my life and being cruel and being a nasty bitch. She's got to realise that. She's got to realise that she's making me so sick that it's going to eventually kill me. She's got to realise that until she stands on her two feet and grows up, she's never going to have a good life. Now, she may, if speculation, she has a partner now. How long is that going to last? Where does he have? Does he own a fucking property? Does he have two cars? Does he have a fucking heart? Is he going to take her? to Sydney or Queensland or whatever you know you always want your partner happy but why a partner destroys me it isn't right my Facebook friends have all said this isn't right what's going on with you no it's not but you can blame my partner for that because at least I went through six months of fucking hell through the court system and I won and you know you know what upsets me the most about all this her broken promises well I, 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 I'll see Andre after court you know I, I'll, I'll make sure that you know we sit down and talk nothing that she says that she never wanted court troubles and restraining orders and all that well there's another lie because I had to go six months for it why she sat on her ass and did nothing she had no court fines she didn't have to lose sleep at night she didn't have to worry about losing her license because she doesn't have one 
And why didn't she have a license? Because her family don't want her to. The fact that her younger sister and all her brothers have all got licenses and she's the only one in her family that doesn't. At her age, come on. At least, you know, I can go out at nights and go for a drive and meet people. What can she do? Nothing. This is her life that she's chosen. Now, she, you guys don't realize this. This is an untold story. <clears throat> Back in February, I wanted to go on my dream holiday to um, the Gold Coast because that's always been my dream, you know, to see Movie World and Sea World. And because of what my partner did, I couldn't even travel out of the state. Not because, you know, why court stuff's going, you can't travel. But she made my health so bad that I couldn't even get on a plane. Now, who's being selfish now? You know, all I've ever wanted to do was go to Queensland, you know, you know, movie world. I want to go to the movie world. I want, I want to, I want to go, you know, meet Wonder Woman and Batman. I want to go to Sea World, pat the dolphins. And my partner took that dream away from me this year. Something I've always wanted. And now with the whole COVID thing, you know, it's very hard to um, obviously do that stuff. Here in Adelaide, we're allowed to um, go to Gold Coast, which is nice. Um, no two-week rule there, and then two-week rule back here. That's that's wonderful because you know I can go, but unfortunately, Movie World, the place I wanted to go, is not open. So my partner took that away from me. Now this is always about uncensored and untold stories. Um, well, here here here's a story for you. I um have uh, been with my partner for, for a long time and you know I was never welcomed you know into their own house to have a have a dinner or anything or you know the story is that you, you will never believe there was a story when um, my partner was having a birthday and um, you know only close family is allowed to join right you think I was invited? Of course not. I wasn't even invited to my own fiance's birthday. That's how much pieces of shit they are. And, you know, I, I find that so fucking horrible that, you know, I'm not just, a fr I'm not a friend. I'm not a fucking random. I'm her fucking fiance. And I'm not even invited to her own birthday. Now, you guys didn't know this, no. So... You know, I, I did the right thing and, you know, it's like, yeah, you, you do something with your family and then I'll do something with you. But I was never invited to my own partner's birthday. You know, the last one was um, late last year, just before Christmas. I took her to a nice fancy restaurant where we can eat, paid for everything. And we had a better birthday than those sons of bitches can ever provide for her. Their ideal of a birthday is going to a Chinese restaurant and might, might I add shit food. Absolutely fucking shit. And that's, or all this like, uh, what's it called? Fucking little cafe place in the hills. That's all they fucking do, the family. No, let's do something different. It's always for birthdays and fucking any family gets together. It's the two same places over and over again. It's like, dude, get a fucking decent place and get a fucking life like honestly like I can the Chinese place especially oh I did actually once get invited to um uh one of the sisters um birthdays um but most of the time I never got invited to anything I was a piece of shit in their book and you know how hard it is to for six years get looked at like you're a piece of shit it looked like that you're not good enough for somebody. That's how my partner's family made me feel every single time. Well, to them, motherfuckers, at least this guy is a property owner now. I'm doing quite well for myself. What about you? What about at your age? You know, yeah, not going to fucking touch that. Just, and you know, at least I was showing my partner 
some decency, some dignity, and making her do mature adult things, not like they treat her. You know, she might as well be a, a, a puppy dog on a bloody leash. You see, I don't, and I'll never understand why my partner will let them control her like that for the rest of her life. You know, my partner always, you know, rubbished other people, you know, worse than her. You know, she always be like, oh, that person should fucking get a job. That person should grow up. That person. And it's like, well, how are you any different to those people? You have a, 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 a couple day job where you, if it wasn't for the family, you wouldn't be getting any money. And I think that's why she's worried to grow up because she knows that that's her safety net. And then she works at a place where they don't pay her for two days a week. Hmm. I'm sure at the end of the day, that'll put food on the table for you and your kids if you'd have any. No, that's not how life works. And you'd think in six years that she would have had a license by now. No, because they don't want her to get a license. It's always excuse after excuse after excuse. And it's like, you know, when I first met her, the moment I realized I needed a license, I went and gone and got one. And I got it. And I didn't. I wasn't even ready, but I had to make myself ready. I had to make a sacrifice because I thought, you know, I don't want anyone driving me and my partner around. And I made a sacrifice that day. There is currently here comes another shock. This is why it's called Uncensored and Untold. There is actually one girl currently right now that may be stealing me away from my partner. If the girl realizes that she doesn't realize it yet and my partner would absolutely go ballistic if she knew the sort of girl I've managed to found in this time and managed to maybe be interested in and you may think hang on Andre we never knew this and my partner if you're watching no you didn't know it either I hadn't been looking but there is someone that I know would go out with me and she is an amazing blonde skinnier than my partner and drives got a couple of kids but you know I would think that a girl like that would go for a guy like me now do I want to move on well I can't obviously because of my partner I can't even have a girlfriend right now because my partner can't even break up with me so how the fuck you know, am I allowed to have a partner? You know, my fucking partner's being selfish and fucking rude. She could have a partner right now and I wouldn't even know. You know, she could be off rooting guys every week. I wouldn't even know. That's not fair. Because my partner knows how I feel. Everyone fucking knows how I feel. You've seen The Wedding Ring. You've seen poetry. More, more to come, trust me on that. I don't fucking understand someone's mind that... If you don't want to be with someone, you simply, you break up with them. So if my partner was watching this, why can't you break up with me properly? Why can't you sit down and break up with me? Because I think you're a coward. I think you're a horrible bitch. And I think you're selfish and immature. Life doesn't evolve around you. And if you want people to control your life, for the rest of your life, you do what you're doing. Live in the house you're living with no freedom. Live in a pigsty of a house that you're always cleaning up and you always smells. Where's that going to get you? So, so at nights, if, if you need to get something, who are you going to ask? The person you live with? Please, she can't even look after herself. You know, you have to be independent and be able to go and get your own stuff on your own. And not have your family worry about when you walk down to the server at nights. You know, how they always, you know, don't don't walk alone, don't walk alone. At my age, I'm not getting told what to do and what I can't do. You get told what you can and can't do. You get told who you can and can't be with, with in relationships and friends. Come on. Where is your brain in all this? You know, it's, it's easy for fucking me to move on and go find someone else. I could do it. I've had the option. But I'm at least a decent person to all the motherfuckers watching. Whether you're Facebook, whether you're my partner's family or fucking friends of her. Dislike the shit out of this vid. I don't give a fuck. Actually, I get off, believe it or not, every time that I get a dislike for a vid. I know what motherfuckers are doing it. You're not very smart. 
there's a way you can find out who's disliking your vids. Yeah, you put your foot in it now, the person doing it. And I'm so sick right now. I'm holding my stomach because I'm in that much pain. I can barely actually see the screen because everything is dizzy right now. My head is all over the place because of my lovely partner and to my asshole friends. So to any friend out there that's watching through Facebook or any social media, if you're a real fucking friend, you step up and do something about it. You know, or it is. Oh, uh, actually, oh, I think it's at the back. Hang on. No, it's not. What? No, no. Oh, it would have said the game over. So, um. But yeah, this is a message to all people watching. If it's my partner watching somehow, come on. This has gone too long. And you're dragging it for nearly seven months. In a few weeks, it'll be seven months. I'm not going to make the rest of the year if you don't get off your ass soon. I need your help. I want to sort this out. And I want to move on with my life. Whether it's staying together or breaking up, I deserve an answer. And I deserve one as soon as you see this. Because I'm too sick to keep dragging this on. I want to go to sleep at night and sleep. I want to be able to enjoy my life and I can't because you're holding me back. I want to have decent friends that, you know, will be there for me now. You know, I have now decided there's only six people I want to talk on Facebook to now. It's funny because three of them don't even live in this state. I just live in this country. You know, I've got, you know, three, two beautiful ladies from England. And I respect the shit out of them. And they need to know that if they're watching. Two amazing American girls. Whoa. They've taught me so much in these last six months. I have one great friend here in Adelaide where I live. You know, she's going for a rough patch with her partner. But I'm always there for her. And then we've got a couple here that you know, I got one that I talk to to like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning, some mornings. And she's an amazing person. Actually, I can't wait to meet her. Because she went from being just a random ad on Facebook to someone that I actually care about and someone that I appreciate more. And I know she watches these vids. She knows that I'm talking about her now. She always, like, you know, she's got a partner and a kid and she's always like putting herself down for her looks but she's a very beautiful lady she is very smart she has a good partner and I respect the shit out of him because you know he lets me talk to her to like you know five six in the morning that's a that's a good trust there because he knows you know that you know I'm not chatting up his partner he knows that I have a partner that I love he's even said you know you know move on Ditch, ditch my partner. He's almost right. I won't tell him that, but he's almost right. Because I do have a right to ditch my partner. And if you're watching, I do have a right to ditch you. And find someone better. But what life's taught me in the last six months is you don't give up on the person you love. You try work out what your problems were. And you fix them. You said to our mutual friends, if Andre can sort his shit out and fucking, you know, be stable and, you know, be able to look after you, easy. It's fucking easy. I've become the person you want me to be. And, you know, everyone can say what a great person I've become. My partner is supposed to give me a chance and see the new person I've become. The only thing wrong with me now is just all these mind games and stupid head games that my partner is causing me. That's the only problem. That's the way it's always been. You know, I'm normal behind the scenes. You know, if, if this shit wasn't going on, I would not be depressed. I would not be angry. I would not be drinking. 
I would not be doing anything stupid. So to anyone watching this, whether this is my last vid, whether this is vids to come, eventually I'm not going to be on Facebook to talk to you guys. And if you go on Facebook one day and see oh, Andre's not there, and the next day you say, hang on, Andre hasn't posted or come on Facebook, you'll know why. I've been so sick the last few days that I'm lucky to be alive. You can blame my partner for this. All I want, somehow for her to get this vid, she needs to go back and see, number one, what kind of person I am in these vids. You know, we're not talking just about wedding rings and singing and crying. She needs to see the, the pain she's causing me and my friends. Because this is affecting my friends now. I can't talk to family. So I, I don't talk to family. Because I'm afraid to face my own family. Since this has all happened. Which is horrible. I should be able to talk to my family, but I can't. I can't even bring this subject up to my parents. So I can't talk to them. I don't like talking about this to my friends. Now I'm alone. Thanks, sweetie. I really appreciate it. You took away friends, family from me. When I was the one that gave you back the most important member of your family. And this is how you repay me. And probably in this time, you probably haven't even talked to him because... You know, they've probably um, not encouraged you to talk to him. They've probably been like, you know, you don't need to talk to him. It's a shame because I, I really like the fact I did that for you. So you kind of ruined that. I feel sorry for him. The best member from your family is the one that doesn't even live in this state. And you're too selfish to even make an effort to call him. Or it texts him. See, if that was my parent, I'd be at least texting or ringing them at least once a day to see how they're going. Because that's what a mature adult does. You know, if they don't live in the same country or same state as their parent, they, they contact them at least and see how they're doing. It's called a respect thing. It's been growing up and being a mature adult. But my partner can't do that. So I'm going to... It's 5am in the morning right now. I'm just about to watch my soccer team play Juventus. We have to win this, by the way. Uh, it is July the 12th. Um, if you guys want to message me, you know... Uh, social media, it's the same as on here. Uh, Andre Kid on Facebook. You can message me anytime. Because I don't let you comment on here, so you can comment that way by inboxing me. So check out that. Um, if you want to get to know me, uh, you can add me on Facebook. Uh, message me and tell me you're from YouTube, so that way I know who, who's talking. Um, if you are a friend of my partner, even though she doesn't have many friends, or has a friend that's been put into her life by a family, then I don't want to know you. I don't want to know... Anything you piece of shit got to say, you sorry sons of bitches. If you're trying to cause trouble between me and my partner, you go fuck yourself. Simple as that. If you're someone associated with my partner, go fuck yourself again. If you're a person that's deliberately just going on my vids to, um, you know, share them to my partner so she gets angry, well, you're a fucking selfish piece of shit. And I know there's a few people on, um, Facebook probably messaged my partner going, oh, he's saying this about you, saying this. Well, you people are selfish sons of bitches yourself. If you want to play child Im Im immaturity games, then it's your fucking stupidity. At the end of the day, I always win. One way or another. And if you want to fucking try to destroy me, good luck. My partner's already done that for the last six fucking months of my life. I have no heart. I have no soul. My mind is fucked because of a stupid, immature girl that can't stand on her own two feet and tell me when it's over. 
So you try to think you can hurt me, guys? Do you think you can try and make my life a living hell? Good fucking luck. That that role goes to my partner. You can't do any worse than her. It's because of her I'm the way I am. So to anyone out there, and I'm looking you dead straight fucking in the camera, you guys can't fucking destroy me. Because that role's already been done by my partner. It's because of her that I don't talk to some of you. It's because of her I'm sick. Really fucking sick. You know, I don't know, there's something wrong with my blood because of all the alcohol and medication I've been taking and other stuff. I've even drank fucking bleach in this time. Oh, wait, you didn't know? Well, of course not. You don't care. Like one girl on my Facebook was, was like, Oh, when did you shave your head? Really? Fucking really? You call yourself a friend of fucking 10 years plus and you didn't even notice that I was in pain and in suffering? All you care about is your fucking animals and fucking worry about yourself? Go fuck yourself. At least I don't change my name because I don't like it. Anyway, my boys are just about to come on the field. Uh, thank you for watching Uncensored and Untold Episode 2. I probably will release this sometime during the day um, when I can. I would like to go take myself on a date today, so yeah. So thanks all for watching and I'll talk to you all soon.